inspirational. So this one is for you guys. <clears throat> I wish I could tell you all to step off because I'm about to burn you with the friction and my addiction. But recently I've made a decision based solely on gut feeling. And it's still got my heart, mind, body, and soul reeling. So I've been hitting a wall. And this writer's block shit has got me feeling small because I'm supposed to be able to smith my words and craft my style because there for a while I thought that I needed to be heard. But maybe I just needed to hear myself think. So I could gather my thoughts like a gathering of nations without the hesitation of a society of convenience where everything is supposed to save your time, but nothing ever seems to get done. So run, rat, run, because that's how things are done these days. Push through the maze, push, push through the haze, learn to freeze through the graves, learn to see through the haze of this eight day week overtime craze, or learn to become nothing but suicide slaves. In the land of the supersize and the home of the Sloan, there ain't no time to grow old because you ain't even allowed to be young. Well, I intend to fight fire with a sharply honed tongue, but poetry is more than poet me. It's poet you and poet true. Turning, tr <clears throat> having the courage to turn this soapbox into a platform so that we can shine the light to the shitstorm of the norm because enlightenment has found that this shit right here, this shit ain't normal. But our rights are being blocked like a decaying bridge to true freedom, just waiting to collapse under our train of thought. So they're trying to train our thoughts by taking away from our schools, music, theater, and art. But we sure can fill it bubbles with number two pencils. Just more stencils marking the way for marketing status quo. And I don't know where any of this is going to go because lately my flow has been hitting a wall. And this wall stands tall, like the one that leaves people imprisoned in religion shopping malls instead of kicking it in the halls of karma where good deeds actually still mean something. Instead of just being a list of things to do to get your soul through and hope that someday you might get to earn those wings, but there is still something that we can't quite grasp and we have been trained to be afraid to ask because they don't want us to know that we were all born with these wings and the ability to sing. No, they'd rather have us kissing some false idols ringleader of a kitty porno ring and they say that he's closest to God? What's it gonna take for us all to recognize that all we gotta do is just drop all this shopping? and step out the door, stop talking when we pray, and learn to listen some more. But alas, this too shall pass, so I guess I'm going to go sit over by my window and smoke some more hash and try to pass through this bricks of ego and this mortar of fear, because you see, I didn't, I didn't come here tonight just to spit. I came here to hear. So I'm going to go ahead and sit down and shut up, because I'm tired of banging my head on this wall, and I'm sick of feeling small. You see, I showed up here tonight to unblock my rights by listening to you all. Thank you for your voices. Thank you for your energy.